What's up everybody? This is JShep TX coming at you with another live reaction. I was actually able to hit this from the premiere. This is Jelly Roll uh, Overdose featuring Still Matthews. This is the official music video. Uh, there were some audio issues at the beginning of it, so I had to re-record the intro. So let's get into it. Five, four, three, two, one second. So let's go. Let's check it out. I'm excited to hear this. Brand new Jelly Roll. Oh snap. Oh snap. Every day's hard, I've been trying to change, but lately I really been feeling the urge. Dealing with demons, been hearing them speaking and popping this shit just to deal with the nerves. Okay, so obviously this is about I mean it's it's a literal title. It's overdose. Uh every day he's been popping stuff to to deal with the nerves to deal with whatever he's struggling with let's let's bring that back has been hearing them speaking and popping this shit just to deal with the nerves i don't know who i am anymore feel like the past is knocking at my door bound by these chains my old habits won't let go of me yeah he's changed but his whole old habits want to go with him uh he doesn't know how to deal with it this is some deep stuff. I guess this whole album is dealing with his addiction because the last couple of songs that I've heard from uh, this upcoming album has to do with with this. He had Ritz on, um, and I did a reaction video. Check that out. But he had Ritz on, um, and he was addressing that. And he did another song. Uh, God, what is her name? I, uh, Mackenzie. Uh, Mackenzie Nicole, that was her name. He did another song, and it was the exact same thing, just dealing with his addiction problem. So I'm hoping he's sober. I don't know. Like, he hasn't talked about being sober. He's talked about his addiction. So I'm somewhere between the man I was and who I want to be. Struggle with recovery. Trying to find inner peace. Trying to find a way to quit my need to feed the inner beast. Trying to find the need to feed the inner beast. The in rhyming I really liked, um, but he's he's really speaking to something. So um, just just coming from personal experience um, and knowing uh, about addiction, it is not as simple as just stopping doing what you're doing. It's a whole behavior. It's a whole thought process. It's a whole lifestyle change. Um, so I can 100% relate and understand the, the struggle um, there. So you've got the old you pulling you. Um, one way you've got the quote new you pulling you another way and you're stuck somewhere in the middle so I can understand his frustration trying to find inner peace trying to find a way to quit my need to feed the inner beast my back's against the wall and I can lose it all there's a freedom that's involved every time I fall there's a freedom every time I fall. I, I'm i really liking this. Let me back that up. I can lose it all. He can lose it all. There's a freedom that's involved. Every time I fall. Why do I always feel so hopeless? Why do I always feel so hopeless? Like this really resonates with an addiction um personality an addictive type of personality it feels like there's nothing you can do to overcome that and those who are outside of this looking in really don't understand um the the hardships that you have to go through to overcome and that demon always is there it may be a more faint whisper it may be a more uh relaxed approach as you get the tools to learn to deal with it um, but you do feel hopeless. Um, and that's when you hit that that rock bottom that they talk about. Um, and then that's where you assess, okay, how am I going to to proceed? Um, it appears that Jelly's doing it with his with his music, so appreciate it. I say I love it, but it's really cause I need it. This addiction I keep eating. I can't have this feeling. I know I'm in need of freedom, but I'm hopeless. Why do I always feel so hopeless? He's got to fight the feeling, um, but he doesn't want to overdose. So he wants to feed that demon, but at the same time, he doesn't want to kill himself. Still, Matthews, I am not familiar with at all. Um, so if anybody could tell me about him, I'm interested to see. I don't know. Is he a rapper? 
Um, is he a singer? What What does he do? Now it's four in the morning, and I'm up here feeling lonely inside this fucking head of mine, and you don't even know me. I'm over you, but I ain't over you. I'm over you, but I'm not over you. 100% can resonate and relate to that. I'm over you, like I don't want to do this anymore, but there's something inside me that just creeps and just says, I'm not over you. I like this. I'm over you, but I ain't over you. Wait, up, I've been dreaming, and out of love I'm leaning, feeling like a fucking pain praying, a relapse just might heal me, I'm over Feeling like a relapse might just heal it, make it go away. There's that itch. There's that itch you just can't scratch. If I go back to it, will I be satisfied? It's always like you think you need something and you get it and then you need that next thing. And then you get that and then you need that next thing. Like it's just, it's never ending and you have to tell yourself it's a lie. Being with you. Oh, wow. This video is... Super intense, so he's ODing there in the tub. Jeez Louise. How can you love me? How can you hate me? How come I don't give a fuck? Black can call me, blue pills in me, and I got one hell of a book. Higher than fuck, light it all up. Stop this fighting in us. Put it on you, put it on me. I'm all in calling your bluff. I'm all in calling your bluff. So he's basically calling out that addiction, just like I was talking about before. Um, Man, it's just, this is really, really deep. I was not expecting this. I'm in need of freedom, but I'm hopeless. Man, this song is just, I love this. Why do I always feel so hopeless? I fucking hate it, but I feel like I can't be. Wow. He's just, he passed away. All right, so that's Jelly Roll Overdose Feature and Still Matthews. Um, the message of the song is, is really, really deep, and I think it gives a good idea, and it really explains... Um, it really explains addiction. Like I have, I have goosebumps right now. It really explains addiction in a way that I haven't heard before in a song. Um, this is definitely a song to give to people or to to have people listen. One who's been through addiction um, or who's been around it and really needs some more understanding. Um, this is a deep, dark song. Um, and really, the last couple songs that I've heard from from Jelly Roll have been dealing with this. So it seems like he's struggling with it a lot. Um, and he's, you know, he's always been a big guy, but in this, like these last series of videos, it looks like he's put on a lot more weight. Um, so I'm hoping that he's sober and maybe he's just leaning more into his other addiction, which is maybe overeating like food. Right. Um, but I, I really hope he's taking care of himself. And I hope that people who hear this song that are going through it understand that you aren't the only one going through something like this, right? People have been there before, um, and there are places you can go to get help. Um, and they're, they're not hard to find. Uh, and, you know, I can allude to it, but there's there's no promotion of, of that particular type of thing. But people get together and talk about their issues. So um, if that's something you need, um, please, please just go, go get help. Um, don't feel like it's hopeless because it's not a hopeless thing. Um, you will get to that point, but there's another side of it and really teaching yourself and learning to deal with it in a more just a better way you just have to relearn how to think um, about specific things it's not easy um, and it's a continual thing and, and and you can do that and I hope that Jelly Roll and Still Matthews both are dealing with it um, and this is more of a retrospective in terms of of, of what they dealt with and how they felt um, but if they're feeling that way, I, I really hope that they, they, they get the help that they need. Uh, I really, really like this. And like I said, this touched, this touched a uh, specific nerve for me. But um, I really, really like this song really, really deep. Uh, I want to see more from Jelly Roll, uh, more 
introspective like this. And I think I'm going to check out some more of that still Matthews. Um, his flow and cadence wasn't my favorite, um, but the content behind it was was excellent. Uh, Jelly Roll Can Sing, I really like that too. So I, I like the song. It's, it's a deep song. Um, yeah, so if you like my comments, if you like my review, go ahead and like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. If you dislike, go ahead and dislike. Leave comments down in the section below. What do you want me to react to next? This is Jay Shep TX, out.